वेलकम बैक टू न्यू एक्सरसाइज इन सॉलिड वर्क शीट मेटल दिस इज़ ए काइंड ऑफ ब्रैकेट इन शीट मेटल सो लेट स्टार्ट टू मेक दिस सिंपल ब्रैकेट इन सॉलिड वर्क विद द हेल्प ऑफ शीट मेटल फीचर यू विल सी हियर ऑल डायमेंशन आर इन मिलीमीटर नाउ वी हैव थ्री व्यूज फ्रंट टॉप राइट साइड व्यू एंड देर इज वन फ्लैटन व्यू सो लेट्स चेक दिस टॉप व्यू एंड फ्रंट व्यू यू विल सी दिस विथ 35 millimeter and the depth 30 millimeter. See here, and if you want to see the thickness, see thickness you will see this section view, this cross view, 0.5 millimeter thickness. If you see this corner radius, upper corner radius 1 millimeter. So if you calculate inside thickness 0.5, if you minus 0.5, the inside radius will be 0.5 because in sheet metal always we defined inside radius. so let's do this this depth 12 mm so right click on any tabs go to tabs and activate sheet metal feature now first we have to choose any one plane so start top plane sketch now activate center rectangle i am going to start with origin point press escape key to out activate the smart dimension now this going to be 35 and the side or depth 30 mm okay now go to sheet metal and activate base flange tab now here we go now sheet metal parameter 0.5 mm thickness direction is going towards inside it's we want bending allowance we will keep standard 0.5 as a factor of safety so i'll keep and auto relief we are going to change while we are going to do edge flange okay now select edit appearance i'm going to apply some color so that it looks more visible okay now activate edge flange if we select upper edge the edge will go up if we choose downward see i am going to select downward see the arrow goes downward so just move and select both both side but there is a problem see the radius is too big so here uncheck the box use default radius inside radius it's 0.5 okay now flange length okay let's check the proper view this is going to be now 10 mm the from this sharp edge upper corner sharp edge 12 mm okay and material also going to be inside you will see inside not outside so that we will get exact now we don't need relief hole here okay now there is upper side one flange you will see in open view 20 mm see here and uh, you will see the thickness or height of this 12 mm from the base of including thickness see then there is a one ham also you will see ham detail 1.75 plus 0.7 2.5 length the center distance 0.5 remember this now activate edge flange now select this edge it is going upside just press somewhere out upside now we want to change the length edit flange drag from both side click and drag smart dimension 20 mm but it must be at center so i am going to define 20 divided by 2 it's 10 mm back check isometric view again here the same issue use default radius 0.5 now the height from the 
which side is suitable this one okay now look height from the thickness is should be 12 mm including thickness 12 mm okay material should be inside isometric view now here we are going to add custom relief type rectangle uncheck the ratio and here we use now here first width width of this let's check the top view okay now width of the hole is 0.5 and depth is 1.25 see okay and here we go you will see here this corner relief 0.5 and 1.25 after adding this hem tool there is one cutout you will see here 10 by 4 you will see this 4 millimeter added here but there is a one catch half portion here half there so 3 millimeter on this face and remaining on another face then there is a two hole also you will see here 7 millimeter from top 2 millimeter radius so we will see these also so let's do first ham activate ham feature now I am going to select this edge okay now here first I am going to keep material inside because our dimension outside to outside now first the overall length if you 1.75 plus 0 0.75 2.5 now the center distance 0 0.5 k factor I will keep as it is we don't need any relief type so keep as it is and here we go now here we want to add a hole so we will we are going to use unfold fe feature fix surface bend to unfold I am going to select this okay select this face this face sketch activate draw one rectangle escape key to out now draw two circles Now first select both the circle equal make import important relation select these two points of circle vertical now select these line and these line uh, actually we want horizontal ok let's do the dimension 10 2 millimeter center to center 10 millimeter and distance from outer edge it's shown 7 millimeter after ham okay now one more important distance distance from here to outside edge is 3 millimeter okay it's still not defined so make important relation hold shift key select origin point and center point okay okay one more dimension this overall length 4 millimeter okay okay let's define distance from here to half 5 millimeter okay it seems fully defined fully defined sketch go to sheet metal and here activate extruded cut now from starting condition we will keep same end condition or direction one keep blind and link to thickness so that it will cut only up to thickness see now again we have to repeat fold feature face is selected fix face now select the bending which is going to fold so I am going to select this bend ok and here we go see now we have two holes 10 millimeter distance 6 millimeter if you check distance 6 millimeter from above 3 millimeter diameter and both side and corner radius R3 ok let's do this now we are going to use simple hole feature 
Now it is asking you please choose a plane. So I am going to select this face. Now look, it is located at uneven place. Start condition we will keep same because we selected plane. End condition or direction 1. Let's say diameter 3. Okay. Okay. Say okay. Now, with the help of drop down and see there is a sketch. Edit. Now I want to edit this. So add one more. Activate circle. Add one more circle. Escape key to out. Now select both the circle equal. Select center point of both circle. Horizontal. Smart dimension. 10 millimeter distance from outer edge it's 6 millimeter okay and from center 10 divided by 2 it's 5 so it's located in perfect position say okay look okay here go to hole edit feature end condition here make through all say ok now the hole is created all side activate corners break corner corner trim here choose break type fillet 3 millimeter let's select the end points say ok Now activate flatten view. Look. This is how you can make a sheet metal part in SolidWorks with the help of sheet metal feature. Even though if you want to save, right click on flatten view, export to DXF. Okay, give this name, save DXF file. Now I want to save as a sheet metal and which part you want to uh, which feature or entities you want to export so let's say bending line sketches bounding box bounding box means this outer line there is no forming tool hidden edges possible okay now it is going to save now see this is the our drawing these outer lines are bounding box even we don't need this Simply save it. Exit flatten view. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.